Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. It is the 25th of February and today I am continuing to use this little booklet but I'm also taking the readings from our daily lectionary. So if you want to follow along with the scriptures we will be looking this morning at Psalm 42 which is on page 526 of the Old Testament and then we will be turning to our Gospel reading because we are continuing to read through the Gospel of John and we have got as far as chapter 6 so we will be looking at the first 15 verses of John chapter 6 and that's on page 94 of the New Testament so if you want to hit the pause button wherever it is there and pause me and set up your Bibles, then we can join back together for prayer. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So we look at our psalm this morning, Psalm 42. To the leader, a masculine of the Korites. As the deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me continually, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and set them in the process and led them in procession to the house of God. With glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan of Hermon, from Mount Mizar, deep calls to deep, are the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully, because the enemy oppresses me? As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The beginning of that psalm reminds me of a hymn, As the Deer Pants for Water. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to have a look for my hymn book later and just check, because a lot of the hymns are based on scriptures. And I'm wondering if the hymn I'm thinking about is based on Psalm 42 that we've just read this morning. 
we turn now to our gospel reading, which is John chapter 6, verses 1 to 15. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea because I had a bit of a frog in my throat this morning. So let's look at John chapter 6, the first 15 verses. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to him to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, six months wages would not be enough bread for each of them to get a little. Six months wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about, about that 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled 12 baskets. When the people gave the sign that he had done, they began to say, when the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realised that they were about to come and take him by force to make him kin, king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When Jesus realised that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountains by himself. I read that verse twice because often when we have this reading of the feeding of the 5,000, we get to the verse about how much is left and then this little bit gets missed it's just a little verse on its own when jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king he withdrew again to the mountains by himself it wasn't his time he wasn't ready and this wasn't what was planned to be made king on earth an earthly king something to ponder and think about today these readings how generous Jesus was in making sure that everyone was fed but then also he withdrew because he didn't want to be made an earthly king he wanted to follow through on God's plan not his own shall we turn to prayer Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with us today as we offer ourselves to you. Hear our prayer for others and for myself and keep us in your care. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. 
sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here and add your own prayers and petitions, and then we can join back together and say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take care. May God bless you until we meet again in prayer. Take care.